Okay, so I've been wandering around the event and I've bumped into a, uh, a rather gold car and Mr. Richard Tuttle. Hello. Oh, hello. Hello. Oh, right? Yeah, not bad, not bad. So I saw you yeah, yesterday, day before maybe, well I saw this gold thing ripping around and uh, you were taking it for a drive. So tell me, tell me more, I think on the podcast, so if you guys haven't listened to our podcast, we referred a little bit to this car, a bit but of it a wasn't hint. finished or anything. Yeah. Um, so tell me, talk me through what we've got in front of us. Uh, we have got a bit distracted by Magnus Walker over there. I don't know him, but I've... Um... Have you not met him? No. Do you know him? Uh, we did a podcast, so oh, I need to you? actually put a face, face to a name. Well, should we go and say hello to him or not? Should we do that in a minute? Let's do it in a minute, because I don't have three mics. Okay, that would be bad. Um, so, what we've got in front of us is... Yeah, a, a, a whole lump of gold. A whole lump of gold? <laughs> What's it based on? What's thrown, it? thrown at a whole load of carbon. Yeah. No, it's a 1973 carbon-bodied... Um, 911 ST. Super, yeah. super simple, uh, with some trickery, but it's actually a very, very straightforward, very, very simple car. And we've generated all of these products, which will be available. So, you can, uh, so you're going to do a few more of these, or you can have parts of it? Judging by the reaction from our little um, uh, press release and Instagram post this morning, I think we might build a few. Yeah. Okay. Let's, let's possibly pause for a few seconds until they stop playing stuff out. Good luck. Um, should we tell them we're going to open the door? Yeah. Open the door. Hey, man. And I perhaps want to say hello to you. I've never met you, Richard. Mate, How are you doing? Yeah, I know who you are. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Help yourself. Okay. Hold on, we've got in the middle of a, yeah. the middle of a, a yeah. car haggle here. <laughs> should, we, should we carry on? Let's carry on. Well, I'd like to talk to you about this in a moment. We're going to finish up here. So we've got a 73. 73. 73. I think it was a T. A T, yeah. From, from the US, um, which we. Temporarily exported, uh, and 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 obviously, yeah, we've developed we've developed a whole load of parts that that will, as, as I said, will be available. Yeah. And um, we've assembled them all together in this wonderful thing, which has come out at 850 kilos. 850 and kilos. That sounds that sounds like I, th I feel like aggressive lightweighting is probably the, the correct word. Well, ironically, it's not that aggressive. Okay. So. To put it in perspective, our, find holes in it, our two litre, no, none of that. Our two litre cup cars, and by the way, of course, it's, it's fully trimmed. Yeah. Our two litre cup cars, we put 75 kilos of ballast into them, and um, they're down at, let's say, 900. Oh, really? Yeah, before, I before they were quite and they're plus, heavier, plus the, well, they're probably more like 920, 930, then the, the ballast to bring them up to 1,003. So 911's inherently quite light. Yeah. Um, so we haven't had to be overly aggressive, but the, the whole principle around this is, is super, super simple. Yeah. A car for B roads, canyon roads, um, like a, a, a good thirty-minute blast or something. Yeah, and, and it's CEO, and honestly, um, Mr. Marte Remat, I was just saying to you, it's, ex it's exceeded my expectations. Hmm. I've, I've driven light cars before, and I've driven a, a two point eight RSR lightweight car. A client owns one of them, and that's impressive. Yeah. But with the combination of this engine, six-speed gearbox, of course. Talk to me about um, the engine. What have we got going on? Four, four valve heads, uh, 3.1 litre, so it's quite short stroke. Um, it pulls from three, really starts Ooh, to go nice. at four. And I've only got to eight. <laughs> yeah. um, a, because I'm not brave enough, but B, we're a couple of weeks short on mapping. Okay. I don't know what the next 3,000 RPM have to, have to offer, but... Something. It, so something, it, something, something glorious. Unne something unnecessary. <laughs> something actually unnecessary, because by eight, you're, the, the rate of acceleration, so... You know, you, you know, sort of overtaking from 60 to something, yeah. you know, from 4,000 RPM to whatever yeah. your car does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The shove in this car is staggering. Yeah. Terrifying is probably the wrong word, but it's just so bloody surprising because it just goes. Keep, and is it, is the power curve, is it ramping, 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 ramping as you go yeah. up Yeah. I mean, honestly, I, 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 can't, so I can't put it into words as I'm awful with words, but uh, what do you compare it to? Um, you know, GT3 is the obvious. Yeah. Uh, obvious uh, the other thing is, I didn't want to go very quickly. No. So I don't want a load of power. No. But I want RPM, and I've ended up with probably more than I wanted right. to a certain extent. Yeah. But we can we can map that characteristic in or out or whatever. But but it's it is absolutely way more than you already need at yeah. 8,000. And what is it in terms of sort of what sort of figures are we talking uh, roughly? Any idea? No, I mean, look, you could probably get 400, but it, it won't have 400 horsepower. It doesn't need it. 
Yeah. Yeah. And what was it, 8, 850 or something? Yeah, so that is so light. Yeah, but so the point being is, uh, if you drive any A road, B road, Canyon road, call yeah. whatever you want, uh, how fast can you go? Not, not very fast. So, so why do we need hundreds of horsepower? Well, why do we need a thousand horsepower? Because there's a few cars we're around, probably got a thousand horsepower. Why do you need With that? The stickiest tar compound and widest yeah. tires. Well, on that note, we've got nines and sevens, and we've actually got too much grip. Right. We, so, because it is a, you've got a wide body look going on. Yeah, ST, ST, ST is a little bit wider than an RS. Um, it's an original body. There's no styling. It's, it's as they came out of yeah. the factory. Um, I think they built seven. Uh, they built 33 uh, STs from the factory. But uh, a combination of incredible damping, right, and everything all rolled up. I, we've, put, we've ended up with too much traction. That, that's what are you a do? good place to be. We can get rid of that. Yeah, but I don't want to. I don't want to lose any of the ride comfort, and I don't want to okay. lose any of this lovely suppleness over bumps. So, um, it's coming back to the. It's coming back to the UK next week to finish the finish the just to, to just tidy up. But it came here, um, let's say a little bit short on actual driving. Yeah, and it's just done three days of the most wonderful quail rally. Yeah, and. Uh, it's bloody brilliant. <laughs> a, a, and I know I'd say that, but no bullshit. Yeah, it's, it's impressive. Good. Talk me through, what, what have you done on the inside? Well, um, but have a look, because I, yeah. I um, So we've we made, ma made our own seats, because I've always struggled with what seats you put in a car of this era. Yes. There are lots of seats on the market. Yeah. I don't want to be too rude, but I don't really like any of them, and they, and they don't fit you, and they don't, you're not sitting in the right position. Yep. Um, so you've got headrests. I like headrests. Headrests are safe. So that's. Uh, I think they're going to. These are pre-production seats, but the production ones will weigh, I think, about seven kilos. Um, we've got. A, we've remade an RSR steering wheel. Yeah. Um, inspired steering, which is out of this flax carbon. Yeah. It's flax. Um, so that's amazing. Um, How's that as a material versus? Normal carbon is very similar properties. Yeah, very similar. Um, it's more. It's just. It's, it's much it's more eco. Goes into it. So, um, uh, obviously, a hydraulic handbrake, but that can be removed. <laughs> That's a Philip yeah, thing. Yeah, it's got a very serious yeah. rally style hydraulic handbrake. But that unscrews. Okay. So, okay. so you can then tuck it away. Oh, nice. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got a six-speed 915 magnesium gearbox, which has okay. never existed before now. And how we've achieved that is we've extended it a little bit. It'll fit in any any early car. Um, and I've used the heater lever right. as the mechanism for engaging reverse. So you'll oh, notice okay. that it's got H pattern with only yeah, six yeah. gears on the on the gear knob, which is made out of titanium. And then yeah, that little red lever, I, I pull that up to engage reverse. So you put it in neutral and then pull the little, <laughs> little red. Um, so where have you got heating and stuff like that? No, we're in California. Why would you need heating? <laughs> cooling. Um, no, actually, you know, we, we, the heating heating is a thing. It can yeah. be a thing. The idea for this car is, look, open the windows, we've got two vents, uh, put a t-shirt on and then go for a drive. Yeah. This is, this is... And this car's living here, isn't it? Or yes. Possibly. Yeah, no, it will be. So, no, gearbox is a bit of a... Uh, and 915, why did you do that rather than, you know, G50? Or, you know, that's all the chat, isn't it? G G50 wouldn't... G G50 six-speed wouldn't fit. OK. But magnesium, little 915, I, I, I'm going to say it must be the smallest... Well, it is the smallest Porsche uh, six-speed gearbox ever. Right. Yeah. And um, so the, look, it's, and it's, you know, I think you'll agree it's beautifully trimmed. So don't it forget is. it's got that weight and it's still a trimmed car. Yes. With, with sound deadening a little bit because we, we want to hear the noise. Yeah, yeah, that's... Flax panels on the dash, super simple. Again, nothing really to look at. Oh, it's just got the stuff you need. Nice taco with all the right numbers on it. Yeah. Yeah, um, going up to 11. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then, yeah, the, uh, the, the other thing I think you'll notice is engine bay. There's nothing to look at. No. Other well, than all this, no, all this flex carbon stuff. But there's, there's no, no, you can't see, apart from the injector wires, you can't see anything. And no, then if you look around the no front, electrical boxes or anything. So no, this has got some sort of electric management. It's, it's, it's currently running on a, on a Bosch ECU fly-by-wire throttle. And then again in the front, it's just it's super, no super clean. And clean. Yeah. God, that is super clean. So where have you, you've, you've hidden stuff. It's all there, trust me, yeah. We haven't <laughs> left anything out, but it's... Um, no, and, as, and actually that means you've got a lot of you've got a lot of luggage space in there. Yeah, yeah. And obviously in so, seats I mean, and whatever. And um, blah, blah, I don't blah, blah, blah. think as a car we need luggage in, but uh, if you want some luggage, it will definitely fit in. Yeah. And that's a that's a lovely titanium uh, rear 
roll cage, which, mm. you, which you can hold with one finger. Nice. Oh yeah, I, like when I, I think I think I made you there. I think I, I made you pick that up. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, we, we, we made lots of titanium bolts, so where we needed special bolts, we had them made. Okay. But, um... What's the, what's the, what's the price? If someone wants to oh, buy one. Oh, that's aggressive. Um, oh, come on, you've got to have a number. Uh, it's, it? it's gonna be, it's gonna, yeah, it's gonna no. be somewhere between... Naught and? It's, it's gonna be more than 500,000 pounds, and I think maybe significantly more than 500,000 pounds. There's a bit of a TBA, a bit of between spec less stuff. than a million. Yes, oh, less than a million. Yeah. So something yeah, like that, yeah, that's yeah. the window. Yeah. Um, okay. Look, yeah. look I, I think you know me well enough by now. That there's not a lot of thought, forward thinking going on. <laughs> Let's build a great car. Build a cool car. See what everyone thinks, <laughs> and um, then work it out. I wrote my little press release last night at midnight. Nice. Laura, Laura was shouting at me. <laughs> so, so I gave her that, and then this morning, um, someone said, well, "How many are you going to build?" So I, thought, oh, I don't know. Yeah. So I googled how many. <laughs> Factory SDs have been built, number 33, so there you go, that's quite a good number, yes, we won't build yes. more than that. Um, we'll see, we've, we, what's lovely, thanks to, thanks to people like you and, and everyone here, is the car's been so well received. Mm. My phone has yeah. been quite busy. If you had morning. signal, it would be uh, really... <laughs> I'm, I am in a rare spot, so I actually do have some here, but um, okay, my WhatsApp is full of, yeah. please can you put my name down for one of these cars, and, and David's received many many emails so i'm a, i'm a, i'm i'm uh, and that 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 brings a sort of joy to my heart because i love that people want this sort of thing well i was, I was saying to someone earlier we're we're on one side of the the golf course and there's a load of other beautiful cars over there singer gun to all of these yeah. amazing people and the point with a porsche is there's a there's a porsche being built somewhere in the world by someone yeah and they're, 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 so, so none of us are competing. Yeah. This isn't this isn't right. competition for anything. And this is my idea of a cool thing. What this is, I think, potentially that others aren't. This is very, very pure. There's no styling. Yeah. It's not overly clever. There's some clever bits in yeah, it. Yeah. From the exterior, other than the fact it's gold. But if it wasn't gold, if it was a more muted colour, the only thing you would really see would be. It looks like it's got some sort of carbon sticker on the side. Yeah, and, you might think that's a sticker, and, and you go, that's interesting. Oh, that's, yeah. that's different. But you wouldn't but know they're carbon wheels. You, no, you would not know they're carbon know, wheels. A, that's a carbon wheel. <laughs> the the carbon first, wheels just look like normal feet. First 15 inch carbon wheel ever, I think. Have you got ceramics? Yes. Little ceramics. It's all in there, you see, it's all hidden. Yeah. Tucked away. But um, I no, think, look, I think cool. it's pretty glorious, and, but uh, I think the simplicity is where it's at. And have you enjoyed. How long have you been here for a couple of days? Been, are you going to any other events? Mutual well, I've been, here, I've been here three years ago, had an amazing time. We've been on the Quail Rally, which I must say was spectacular. Great bunch of people, yeah. all loving cars. Staying at a really lovely place up in Sonoma, built, visiting beautiful wine regions. So this place has a lot to offer. And yeah, once this, uh, once this morning mist has burnt off, might have to take a jacket off in there. I know, I know, I know. I can't, I've never been somewhere where the temperature changed so much. Like, whereas I was sort of down at the Bonhams tent, which is sort of this area, and then drove up into the sort of towards Laguna Seca. Yeah. It was like a 10 degree difference. Over that hill, yeah, it's, yeah. Like, a, it's like, a new, um, like a new world. I've just been distracted by yeah. um, that studio masters, and I used to live with him in Santa Barbara ah, very, very nice. many years ago. So well, he's a very, uh, very good mate. I will, I will let you be and I'll go well, for a bit of a wander around. Well, we'll see some more stuff. Thank you very much for chatting. Thanks very much. Nice to see you. Cheers. <laughs>